We've been doing damage surveys for 15 years and the most common thing you see in a severe windstorm is the roof is gone. Mm -hmm. Then the next thing you'll see is some sheathing is off. So the way the, way the wind works is uh, the pressures can be very high in localized areas and one of the highest places ar was around wherever there's a sharp edge. So at, right at the ridge is a very high wind load. And if you have a small piece there that's not very stable, you're going to lose that. And now you have a hole for rainwater to get in. And these storms come with rain, right? And so that, that's, that's a mess. I'm still doing research on, on, the, on the load path. That's a very engineering term. But, but the, when the wind goes over the house, it wants to lift the roof up. So we have to hold it down. That's what we're doing here. And so the, 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 the weakest link on a house structurally under wind load is that connection of the truss to the, to the, to the top plate. And so if we can hold the top plate to the walls, the walls to the foundation, then we have a very strong construction.